it's your girl, Brit. Brit to the motherfucking brat. All right. We are back. We are better with another banger. All right. Make sure y'all like. L I K E S. Like the video. All right. Subscribe. Sub. Subscribe to the channel and click. Click that bell to be notified of every time I post because y'all know what it is. Y'all know I post frequently. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what we're doing. Y'all already know what it's hitting on. Y'all already know what we going for. Let's jump, skip, hop, leap, do the Dougie. Ah, 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 my Dougie Dougie into the video. Link, 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 mother uncles. It's down in the description box below. It's down in the description box below for my Patreon. Go over there and become a member and go over there and watch my clean sweeps. I'm about to go and put it up once this video goes up about my extra thoughts on Now That's TV's um, three different shows they put out this week. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. So in my video, I'm going to start doing these disclaimers. I'm going to get it in writing later than sooner. But, you know, I have to catch up on all the videos I'm doing, y'all. You know, oh. I have so many. All right, but I want to say this because I've seen the video of some children, you know, baby, baby, trying to fuck on my soul. Let's get it. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. So for all the kids that watch me, um, you know, at one point I was a child. At one point I was watching Bad Girls Club, and I'm like, ooh, what is that? And you know, I didn't have the, I didn't have my frontal lobe yet to know that, hey, this is fake. These girls are getting paid to do this, actually. They're in a controlled environment where nobody truly gets hurt. That's why they're breaking up these fights so quick, because they really don't want these folks to actually get hurt. This is really for entertainment purposes, like Diamond said. And, you know, they just are one way. The parasites be on when the camera is on. When the camera turns off, they are back to the normal selves. So I would say to anybody who is a young kid, who, you know, is absorbing um these shows and absorbing my content as well listen baby it's fake it's for entertainment this stuff is not real you know y'all will truly go to jail if y'all think about doing some of the things that these girls are doing yeah y'all have true consequences okay these shows are they don't feel like they're responsible for y'all when y'all go out and do stuff they feel like that's not their problem y'all should know better and i'm here you know to give a a warning like hey not not even like a warning but like somebody y'all watch every day that's in y'all everyday life understand that this is entertainment it's not real and i'm just here to help y'all and break it down for y'all because i don't want to see none of my people get in trouble for doing something because they felt as though they had to check somebody or let somebody know you know they're a baddie you know you're a regular person these people are baddies on that camera when they get off they're regular people all right let's get into the video so we start off with some sneak peeks of what is yet to come. And when they come, that's when we'll talk about them. Okay? Okay. All right. So we start off truly the episode with Isaiah and Zoe acting. Acting was just horrible. It was given to be movie. Okay? Very much so. You can tell neither one of them went to acting class. They tell me some. oh, we got this big house. Zoe was literally just telling Isaiah, you know, you be going, going, going. You need to take a break. As y'all or as y'all are putting together a show in the midst of it, like what what are we talking about here? So I said, like, yeah, I know, da da da, but we got this big crib, like we need to, you know, just have like a like a like a girls trip. Really? Okay. So he like, we need to have a girls trip. They like, let's call Ferragamo. Ooh, Ferragamo, you got girls with you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually just have these random pots of females that I've never seen before, never met before with me. And they all have their bags ready and packed to stay nowhere in Miami. And, you know, they're just here for the weekend, just out the blue. I believe just the acting was just horrible on everybody, part from Ferragamo, Isaiah, and Zo. It was horrible. They could have easily just showed that these girls had beef and started off like that, like, oh, you know, we seen that these girls got beefed, da da da. We having to bring back our people or something. I don't know. I just the the intro could have been better. And I ain't gonna lie to you, because the acting was just horrible. I was like, what? And it was Isaiah, we could just have a have a uh 
a girl's trip. Like, oh my God, that was right off the dome. <laughs> you really had to think that one through. Y'all just have this house. Just Y'all just, for some reason, just had this house. And y'all are in Miami. It's just you and Zoe. And you just thought, as soon as the camera turned on, to just have a girl's trip. I thought Zoe just said that you need to, you know, take a break. You need to rest because you, you've you been doing shows back to back to back. And Isaiah like, oh, you know what? And in this big mansion, we could do another one. Like I said, acting was piss poor. I'm disappointed in you. You disappointed me. So the first girl that we end up meeting is Lori. As I told y'all, it seemed like she was going to be the breakout star of this show. Um, She gets her rounds in from what i had seen so far so we meet lord then we meet west west come out i i used to like it when they did it you know because i'm like yes hey but i, I think because i've seen it so much i'm like girl just been over i hate when they just jump up and it just be <laughs> i'm like oh Ugh, I don't want to hear that. Okay, so Wes get out of the car. Wes look good, though. I will say this. I don't necessarily care for the shirt that she had on in her confessional because it looked like when I first seen it, it was like, oh, my God, Wes, why would you wear that shirt? Because it gave, like, three rolls. And I'm not, like, body shaming or anything, but I'm just like, you know, you should have put on an outfit that you looked better in. But, hey, they look way better than South Central Baddies um, season four. Confessional, them Liddy, low, ooh, cash, ooh, they just did not care. But anyway, so I was looking at it, but I seen it's the scraps on the it's it's the scraps on the shirt. She just, you, I guess, was in a rush and ain't really had time to do them. But we should have made time. Okay, so we meet Lord, we meet Wes, and then we meet Coco. Coco didn't get an intro, but Coco was like, you know, I ain't gonna be cute. I can't fight. I'm like, oh. Big Coco Chanel, Big Coco Chanel, okay, Chanel car. you came to throw them hands, so, you know, I took a note of that, put that in my back pocket, because I'm like, okay, if she came to throw hands, it need to be on site, so we end up meeting Dre, he was like, you know, I'm the hairstylist, and I was a Playboy cast member, and now I'm the CEO, I'm like, mm, you was the hairstylist, no shade, you barely got some scenes in on Playboys, and when they did show you you was trying to make sure nobody had said that you was rainbow. So, hairstylist. And honestly, even then, I didn't even know you as a hairstylist. I thought you was Raj's boyfriend. So, that's what it was more so giving me when I met you. For me. We meet another girl. She's not really important, honestly. I think she's going to be a background character. Then Ferragamo come. And Ferragamo, to me, like, brought this different energy. I was trying to. It gave, like, a force lit energy. Like, what's up? And it just didn't give her personality that I feel like we met on Young and Reckless season one. Because on season one, like, Ferragamo was so pretty on, on her confession. She looked good on this one, too. But, like, her vibe to me was more like laid back chilling i'm chilling she wasn't trying to necessarily like prove like she was fun and i believe like in this confession she was trying to like overly do it like to make it seem like she was lit she was turned she was having her a good time and i'm like girl please and she was just like she didn't share her drugs this time i'm like good i'm glad you know you thought about it this time babes and ferragamo is the host of the show like she is the host so that's just another thing to add in there. So they had Isaiah come to the door, underage, drinking like a mug. So they had him come to the door with the bottles. They like, yeah, we lit. Ah! It gave me that, you know, baddies vibes. Like every time they go into a new mansion. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, this is so nice. I've never seen this before. Ah! Ah! That's what it was giving me. So what took me, oh, UTL. Everybody came in playing. Oh, we lit, we lit. Ah, twerk, twerk, twerk. Oh, yes, we having a good time. We lit, we turned out, da, 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 da. Isaiah said, the chef is making nachos. What in the hell? Why is the... Y'all have a chef. And you mean to tell me that y'all got a chef in there not cooking shrimp? Not cooking pasta, no Alfredo, no, no, no crab ball, no steak and beans, but nachos. I knew right then and there, bootleg. 
Tubi.com. Are you for real? Nachos? Isaiah. I could have made y'all some nachos, baby. All you got to do is go get the cheese from Walmart, put it in that crock pot. Let that cheese boil and some chips. They over here playing like they lit. They turned up. You got the bottles and the chef is cooking. Nachos? Nachos. I would have did better if you said spaghetti. Nachos is crazy. Nachos is insane. I looked at my phone so dumb. I'm like, did he say nachos? That boy said nachos. Not the chef was cooking. Like, and it was so proud. It was no type of shame. It should have been a little shame in your voice. Why would y'all hire a chef and have the chef cook y'all nachos? Nachos, I said. This is a girl's trip. Nachos. Y'all fed South Central Baddies better than that. All right, nachos. That's crazy. So we end up meeting Ricky. Um, she looks pretty. I love that blonde on her. She was eating down. We we end up meeting her and we end up meeting Miss Coco. Miss AK, wake it up. Miss Coco, I think you got woke up. We're gonna get to that though. So Coco go downstairs. She got her stuff on. She ready. She prepared. They thought she wasn't coming. So she she's on that. She's on that. She needs that. She needs that. She needs it real bad. So she needs that. She's on there. She she on time. So she got she got her stuff on. She ready to fight. Oh, surprise, surprise. Miss Kayla has her stuff on too. She was waiting on you at the door. She was like, oh, she finally came down. Great, because I've been here my stuff on. I came in with my stuff already on, okay? Let's get that. Let's work that. Who needs that? You need that. So Coco and Kayla get that. They get at that. And then again, I do feel like both of them was holding their own. They was keeping up. But once um, Coco started getting backed up into that wall, yeah. Yeah. Kayla was on that. Kayla was getting her can't lie to you. Kayla was Kayla was doing her. So Kayla got veneers in her mouth. And y'all know how like a duck lips sit out. You know how like when people get the syringes in their lips. That's how Kayla lips sit out to me. Like when she talks, she talked like with her lips already poked out. I was like, what is going on with her lips? But Kayla got that. She was on that. She needed that. She came in already on that. And at one point in time, I couldn't even really Pay attention to the fight. I'm looking at the U, the I, and the C just crumbling up. They just all smushing together in her booty. They just smushing all together. I was like, wow, Juicy is not fruiting. Oh, my gosh. Like, And trust, like, I remember those Juicy Couture uh, sets. I used to have me some back in the day. I was a Juicy girl. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, she was on time. And she got her Juicy outfit on. Yeah. She need that real bad, real hard. And... Kayla was on there. Like I said, Coco, I think she did a good job of standing in the paint, but I think to an extent she didn't she didn't know what she was getting herself into. I do want to know what's what's their beef about, what's the issue. I do believe that we should have got a little bit of context clues about what was to go on currently. All we know is that they thought that Coco wasn't going to show up, and Coco did end up showing up. So Kayla and Coco get done fighting that first round. Baby Dre is on his thing, braiding that hair down, being the hairstylist, period. And you could tell him and Coco cool because he braided her hair down. He he tied it back up, and he was giving her some pointers. So a little bit before that, Kayla did give us a contest clue that they got into about that BBL drizzy that Kayla got. So Kayla, I guess, was upset that everybody in the group chat was talking about that BBL, but Coco must have been like roasting down must have really been talking her thing she must have been sending pictures of that bbl jersey so um kayla was like you know i need that from you since you got so much to say and coco felt as though she was targeting her but everybody was saying something about that bbl so kayla got up on her and was like come on run it again and coco Coco just backed up, and you know what I'm saying? Kind of put her hands up, rolling. Y'all know they love to roll, roll them hands. Like, what? What's up? What's good? Y'all play with me. 
And they, the other girl, some of some Kayla, not you got her running. How was she running? And she just backed up a little bit. You act like she ran for real. Like she backed up and got her stance. What you mean? What Dre right there? You you want her to back up on Dre? You no, know, she moved out the way a little bit where she can get a little space so she can get that if they need to get that. Like what are you talking about? I don't think she was running away. Coco, Coco did not run away. If anything, she went down there prepared, ready to get on that. So I don't believe she was running away. I think she was preparing herself and her stance. Like, what are you talking about? You follow the leader ass girls. So Coco and Kayla go another round. Bow, bow, bow. Ma, ma, ma. Beep, beep, beep. La, la, la. They in there. They getting it. So, like I told y'all, Dre was trying to give um Coco some pointers. He like, you know, back up a little bit, then get up in there. Coco like, any can you follow me? Are you in the fight? Are you gonna help me? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Let me get out here. So Coco, get out there. Coco, I believe in the beginning, was doing her thing. I think what messed Coco up was Kayla could take a hit. And she hit Kayla, but Kayla socked her right in her face. That like punched her legit. Like, I, right, boom, got that. And that threw her off. And with that, I believe that's, she lost her footing after that. She lost it. And then, too, you trying to throw her. She is half your size, baby girl. You're not throwing her. You're you're not doing it. You're, you're you're not getting that. Now, to me, is Kayla like a heavy hitter? No, absolutely not. Like no shade, no. It's not giving heavy hitter. You could throw down, but I've seen better. You know, but I do think that she she is doing her thing when it comes to Coco. Coco is trying to stay up in there, you know, but Coco can't take no hit for real. And it shows, you know. And, yeah, I just feel like Kayla got that. Kayla, and, and Kayla was really throwing her. And she was trying to throw Kayla around. Kayla was like, nope, not, mop, mop, uppercut, uppercut, bink, bink, bop. She was just taking Coco through there. Sorry, Coco, you was just getting ran through. So after the whole altercation, Coco is crying. Coco is like, this is not what I perceived it to go. I didn't know it was going to go this way. You know, I'm sure in her mind, she was winning. She was saying, mop, bang, 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 bop, bop, drag her. Like, she thought it was going to go that way. And it just did not work out in her favor. So she is crying tears. They like, go, just go upstairs, man. Just go, just go in your room, man. Just, you know, walk it off. Or they took her in a room that's, in the front of the house where they came into the door. So they just put it in a room by herself. Put it in a room. So somehow it was blood and it's from Kayla mouth. I mean Coco's mouth. So it's on Kayla. So they like who bleeding? Kayla like, baby, this is twenty thousand dollars shaved down. And uh, my tia Kim. Uh, yeah, get up in there. No, baby. These are these are the real thing. They're not gonna just fall out. So after she ends up saying that, she didn't stop walking. I see the BBL. I see what they talking about. Oh, it look, it do look bad. Kayla is too much back there. It's too much. It do look a mess. It do. When Kayla stopped and paused, y'all know um, what's them things called? Um, them apples that be on the stick. That's what her butt looked like. Flipped the apple over on the stick, and her legs was the stick, and her butt was the apple. I was like, girl, candy apples. That's what they call. Her butt looked like a candy apple. It just, it that was too much butt for her legs. Too much, way too much, way too much. So, um, they end up taking Coco in the bag. Kayla like no shade did some some some. Here go a uh, heifer. No shade, all shade, and with that boy. Um, he was saying allegedly now this TV ain't pay him, and he was quote unquote a security. Um, it's not giving security in these clips. You ain't helping breaking up no fights. You over there drinking, walking, and cackling. I see why they ain't pay you. I wouldn't have paid you neither just to come and have a good time. So he 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 like them girls on Young and Reckless Delusional. So um Kayla, so Kayla walks off jet um What's Heffa? Heffa and the boy was like, Shay, oh, Shay. <laughs> Please. Heffa, from what I see, um, Ricky, do the Ricky smile stop and pose for the train on you. And oh, buddy, that's why you ain't get paid, allegedly. Because what you there for? The kiki with the girls? Like, you ain't do no job, obviously. So the girls end up twerking. Hey, throw it. Throw it back. Throw it back. BBS and Netflix all getting that, getting that. They getting it, getting it. Whopping it, whopping it. 
shaking it, shaking it, dropping it, dropping it. They doing their thing. So in the midst of them doing their thing, they end up letting Coco go to the bathroom, I guess, to clean herself up, you know, look at her face and stuff like that. So as she cleaning herself up, making herself, you know, look okay, Kayla just walks us in the bathroom. The security, he he literally right there, he know they just got to find he just let her go in the bathroom. So I'm guessing they like, oh, more content, buddy. Like, you know, we here to break it up. So let her go in the bathroom. So they look. So Kayla and Coco look right at each other. Kayla just hit her. Ma. Boom. They getting it. All you hear is Coco saying, let me go. Let me go. Get her off of me. Whatever. Then going to confession some song. You ain't telling you got mopped in the bathroom. She didn't get mopped in the bathroom. Who is saying let go of who? Who is saying get who off who? It's not giving mopped in the bathroom. It's giving, it was off guard, she got you. And I do feel like to an extent, Kayla is dragging me. Like, girl, I see why they dogging that BBL out. That BBL do look a mess. Like, but you is, like, doing the most. You ain't got two rounds with the girl already. You ain't, you ain't beat the girl up. Like, you on some money time, for real. And I definitely see, like, why Nina confronted Monty because it is, like, Okay, the ones y'all know y'all could get, y'all just want to keep getting them, keep getting them, keep getting them. And it's like, you ought to beat up twice. Like, now you 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 thirsty to beat up. And it, it's just not entertaining as it could be. It's kind of boring at this point. Like, let it go. You got her. You did her. It's over with Finito. So, Coco is in the bathroom talking to Wes. She's venting. Wes really ain't paying her no mind. Wes just wants to camera time, you ask me. He don't want to stand. He don't want to stand. Like, shut up. So, Coco, like, I'm on it all night, you know. If you if you whoop me, you're going to have to whoop me again. I'm like, she whooped you three times. Three times. Oh, no, three. Was you not was you not picking it up that you was the one losing? What's going on, Coco? Are you slow? She's hitting you hard. <laughs> A little too hard, obviously. So, Coco, like, you know, I'm on there. I need that, da-da-da. But then I started getting some contest clues. So, she ends up saying... But you want to be on that and fly down in winter ain't here yet. So that let me know that Kayla got a problem with fly down in winter. They got some type of beef going on. And maybe Coco think that Kayla is scared of fly down in winter, but she not scared of her. Okay, okay. Very much so. Keeping my eyes on a swivel. Okay, we're going to see if Kayla gives fly down in winter that same energy that she gave you. Because she is giving you a lot of energy. I honestly, like, for real, she giving you a little too much energy for me. Okay, Isaiah, you're irritating me real bad. Really, really bad. So, they take Coco outside, I guess, to get her away, away from everybody. Isaiah comes out. He ends up giving her this monologue about how she um, she she can't fight no more tonight. This ain't South Central Baddies. Y'all know sometimes I just have to, you know, sometimes you just got to get mute. Because how how is not South Central Baddies? It's South Central Baddies. They just not in South Central, okay? Miami baddies, if you want to call it that. This is what that is. Low production, low budget. They coming in already tussling. You know, I mean, just the writing is on the wall. It it is South Central baddies, baby. It's just my that y'all in Miami. Some of some it's not South Central baddies. It's girls trip. Some of this not a fine show. He knew exactly what he was doing and the people that he called. So, obviously, it is a fine show. They came in already fighting. We wasn't even that much into the episode yet. They had already came down and wanted to get that. So, what are we talking about? It is a fighting show. All y'all shows are fighting shows. We wouldn't be here if they were not fighting. What are you talking about? Then he turns on the shelf. The shelf. I was so happy he, she ain't let him get out the shelf is making our shows because... Don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear that, Isaiah. And two, you the, you the person coming out here telling the person who lost the fight, hey, you need to calm down. Hey, you know, you need to enjoy yourself. You need you should be telling Kayla that. Kayla is the one who keeps coming and getting that. Kayla is the one following her in the bathroom. So you need to be telling Miss BBL, Dresden, hey, you need to be telling her that, okay? She's the one who wants Coco real bad. 
And not only that, when they was fighting that second round, mind you, they was trying to, you know, do like, what's up? What's up? You know, before they got, go all the way in and fight, Isaiah is up here hollering about some fight now. Hurry up. Fight. Come on. It's not a fine show, though. Isaiah, shut up. He go, Isaiah, if you want to get that with her, you can get that. We can we can make sure you get that. It's not a fighting show, though. And Miss Coco, I'm getting you. You better stay on 10. Coco, she can stay on three. She's gotten you three times. Uno, dos, tres. Why you want to put Ultra and Cinco in it? Girl, she's gotten you. She is hitting you hard. Too hard. She is hitting you too hard. She's gotten you three times. Three times, my nigga. She ain't got you. She ain't mop, 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 bing, 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 bing. She's got you all three. What are you talking about? Tell me, I, I hit my lip. I, um, what she said, she bit her lip. You did not bite your lip. She busted your lip. Your lip butt buzz. She busted your lip. Your man, mama. She got you, mama. But I ain't gonna lie. Coco, that body is banging. Coco, you look good, girl. You look good, baby. You know, you look good. Coco, you look good. You look good. So Isaiah goes to talk to Kayla, and Kayla was like, baby, she on bunk. She's trying to get her name out here. She really don't have no pressure with Coco. She just had to, you know, teach her real quick. So girl in the black, um, the sidekick, ends up letting it be known. She don't like Winter, and she need that from Winter. Okay, well, Winter ain't here yet, so you obviously don't need that from Winter yet because she's not here yet. So sidekick, um, non and boy right now. So Coco outside, everybody end up coming outside. She like, who need that? They like, girl, shut up. What did you talk about? Girl, we ain't said nothing to you. We ain't got no issue. She like, I'm just saying, you know, all y'all coming outside, I'm just asking who need that. She on guard so bad. But girl, what you need to do is go take a break, okay? Not, it's not for you, obviously. So everybody started telling where they from. Everybody truly is from, from what I'm picking up, places where they don't play. They get down with the get down. So... All the girls really got hard. Everybody really is from places that are known to be about it. So, Winner and Fly Nine end up getting there. Fly Nine looks real cute. Winner looks prepared and ready. So, they put their stuff down. Fly Nine ends up coming in the room tomorrow. I'm checking temperatures. I'm, te I'm checking temperatures. But everybody really want Winner. Ain't nobody really stunned Fly Nine for real. So, Sidekick and Kayla get ready. They go downstairs. Winner is already downstairs waiting on them. Sidekick said no. Kayla, you already had your time to shine. Let me do my thing. Her and Winner both was getting up in there, though. I can't lie. Like, it was shoulder to shoulder, both of them. Both of them was putting up with the put up. Now, I think Fly Nine and Sidekick end up getting into it. I think Fly Nine ends up really getting carried away with Sidekick. Um, Kayla is looking for that head up. But Winner, like, baby, I have to catch my breath. I have to catch my breath. I'm going to catch my breath. And basically, Fly Nine is just sitting there being, well, standing there being security. So, Winner and Sidekick end up shaking hands, you know, saying they ain't got no issue. Like, real women, you know, they in box it out. They cool. They ain't tripping. They ain't on that no more. So, Fly Nine says she ain't got no words for them. She ain't got no words. I'm like, well, why? Why they don't want to get ahead of with you? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Because they don't mind getting ahead of with your home, girl. But for whatever reason, they sparing you. Why they sparing you, though? So, ooh, ooh, this, this one, uh, uh, Kayla mess, baby. So, Kayla said that her, they all got true hood beef. Like, this ain't no show stuff. This not no camera stuff. They got real South Central beef. So, as y'all know, when we met Fly Nine, everybody was saying that Fly Nine had got kicked out of her hood. She got ran out. She's saying that the homegirls came to Fly Nine mama house, beat her and the mama up. Now, if I'm the mama, I'm tripping. Why your homegirls had to throw me in the mix? Pissed off, man. Like, you know, y'all, the mamas, y'all need to think about when y'all had these girls. Because why the girls keep putting y'all in situation to get whooped? They ain't came and beat. And then these was your friends. Your friends that came to be you and your mama. Why somebody had to hit your mama too? They could have just got you. But they got your mama too. Fly nine, you should be taking everybody out one by one. I don't care. Like, that's crazy. Your mama too? What your mama had to do with it? Nothing. Just in the middle because... You her child. I hate that. So that's what Kayla said. So 
flat out, I was like, but y'all really don't want to get it up with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they like, it don't matter. But it's not that same energy that y'all had with Coco, Kayla. You talking about it don't matter, it don't matter, but you want to get your head up with winter first. No. You talking about how the girl got ran out of her hood. You talking about how they came and whooped on her and her mama. Well, now it's your turn to whoop on her. But now you're talking about, oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. But I really want to get my head up with winter. You can get that with winter, but get it up with, with fly nine. It is giving very much so y'all want to pick winter instead of fly nine. But you all in your confessional saying that she got ran out of her hood. So if she got ran out, keep her out. What are you talking about? So winter get up. As soon as winter get up, Kayla on it. And Kayla start ducking winter. Dock, 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 dock. Just start docking her. I'm like, they must be fighting over a man gotta be some real street politics or man for her to be hitting her that hard like you really was waiting to exhale when it came to her so they get that and that was just the end of the episode i'm excited because absolutely it gives south central betty absolutely it is probably most likely the little sister of south central betty because from what i'm seeing the girls is catching phase but i'm not seeing no oh like ah, you know it's not giving south South Central season four is definitely not giving it so far. The fights that I'm seeing, they cool. You know what I'm saying? I like I like what I see, but it definitely can't compare with it can't compete, period. So that's all I got for y'all in this video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like, like, like that video and click that bell to be notified. Y'all look at the rest of the videos in the morning from baddies. I ain't went to sleep. I'm tired. I'm tired. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye, y'all.